<laughs> I have to stop serving people. Oh, she's back. Please get so popular. Mm. Mm, control has returned. Honestly, this is more stressful than supermarket sim right now. <laughs> okay, but it's wild that like the only two people working at the like there's literally no. You'd think there'd be like other employees. <laughs> like I don't worry about this. Are they like two friends who like open up a coffee shop together?
friends. Why'd you say friends like that? You'd like to think that they're together? Well, I'm pretty sure you'd be wrong. <laughs> yeah, how come she keeps getting like a skill level up? Not. Weird. But I, I don't think they're more their friends than the original. It's not the kind of game. Oh no, and don't worry, there's music playing, it's just very soft. No, we're getting so dirty quickly. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Honestly, I kind of wonder what's going on through their minds when I'm like not serving them and just standing there. Like, are they, like, concerned? Like, is she not taking my order? <laughs> Always wondered. <laughs> right, you just the awkward silence. Um. And the woman's like, um, excuse me, hello? <laughs> I asked for an iced cafe latte. <laughs> You're just standing there like... <laughs> Tables. Come back from the head, everyone. But yeah, are you guys excited for 
tomorrow. I'm gonna be just doing something new and different from the. Well, yes, it is still technically. It won't just be a simple reading. We're going to see if I am as good as I think I am in getting um a good ending. Because I do still remember that one time where um, I basically played Cinder Phenomenon and the first route I ever did, I it was, I don't remember what, I remember one route I did, um, I didn't even have like the right choice indicator on, essentially got like the good ending without looking at any guides or anything like that. And there's actually an achievement for that. I think it's called like having like good intuition or something. So yeah, I was like, oh wow. Good, aren't I? Yeah, I think I think I'm pretty good at like somehow navigating my way. Well, Oh, 05 WR any percent, huh? What is that? Oh, wait. Oh, chat. Oh, no. We're down. What, 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 what does that even mean, Maple? Oh. Huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's help speedrunners to fill their videos. Honestly, I have no idea what I titled it. Okay, well that's the thing though. It's like nobody really speedruns visual. But basically, I guess the title would be like. Oh no. Okay, so for all of you that are here, we're gonna get a little bit of spoilers for tomorrow since you know you're here. Bro, we literally just opened, hold on. Do you see that? We literally just opened and bro's already walking in. What the hell? It's like bro was waiting outside for us to open. What the hell? So, I was saying, a little bit of uh, spoiler tree, guys, for tomorrow. He was. <laughs> um, but yeah, a little bit of spoilers. Basically, I would title it like. The VN. Oh, I, I remember the boy's name. His name. Or with the S? I, I can't remember. Give me a second. No, once I find his name, I'll be able to tell you what I'd be like titling it. For that visual novel, of course, though. I'm sorry, you guys. Just one quick second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Name.
There we go. I remember it did not start with the S, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so basically the title would be the VN VN Mishka Speed Run Good Ending. Um, what will would it be? Like, if we have to do like a percentage, what would it be? Or maybe a good ending is like good enough. Really so yeah. Nightshade VN Dima Mishka speedrun. <laughs> maybe maybe I could also do like a time too. I have um Like, sometimes I kind of wish, like, you could figure out how long it takes to, like, read a visual novel. But that's the thing, though, because, like, you'd have to do it from, like, like the average person. Because I read fast, so... For me, like, let's say, like, it takes the average person, like, three hours. It'd probably take me, like, half of that, maybe a little more. So... Yeah. Oh, I'm just not serving people right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I speed read a lot. <laughs> Lord. But yeah, it would be something like that. <laughs> and then for the second one, which is Amnesia Memory. Uh, I hope we have to like, pick like one or two. Um, you know what? I think I might let you guys pick who. Probably have you pick um during the night sheets you run. When you guys are there, yes. No, five of them. What are the choices? Well, you'll find out tomorrow. I won't spoil that much. Just know that there's five of them. You'll basically be picking based off of names, but if you do want pictures, I don't mind. But I think it's more fun leaving. <laughs> mm. You'll have to wait. Or. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it because, again, like I said, there's five of them. And the poll can only do up to like four. Hmm. That's an issue.
And dang it, Maple, you got there before I could. <laughs> My hammer was looking to uh, serve some justice. Say you wouldn't be able to beat their maple. <laughs> what are you talking about? I love watching them get mad. <laughs> like, I'm sorry for caring about the well-being of my employees. Go get your coffee somewhere else. These they're calmly. <laughs> Mira, I guess so. Because I love people get angry. Okay, but I promise, guys, one day we will have an angry angry emote. I promise. And anyway, I'm planning to ask um, Yuki to do it, but you know, the girls gotta got have money first. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nothing emo? Well, you guys are gonna love it, aren't you? Didn't I tell her to go... Well... But yeah, I'm gonna get an Angie emote. But I'm planning to like do that when the suit that I emote. No. <laughs> Plus I'm planning to get it like um once I get my new model. So that way I can have like a like new looking emotes, I suppose. Cause I think we have enough as a 1.0 Ekri. Why do you say it'll be known as the Sundere emo, huh? just opened I'm sorry it is crazy we literally just opened Because I like to think that the chillin isn't actually angry. I'm just hating a lot. I'm not a tsundere. Pretty proof that the Sundere allegations are false. But Sundere actually would be cute. Do. Oh, cute though. No. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even ninjas in on it, do. No, what'd you guys do to him? Why is Ninja in green? Oh, so many people. Okay, you guys want a little bit more spoilers? Mm -hmm. 
about like what I imagined for like my future model. So, like I kind of hi May hi welcome to the stream. I was literally just about to tell my chat more ideas I had for like my future model. So like instead of like the typical pulls that I like have, I was thinking of like um having like a little pose like an initial kind of pose where it's like i have my hand on my hip but not like you know the 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 um um like the disappointed hand on hip kind of more like um sassy one <laughs> you know I feel like you know what i mean like uh Damn, who knows what I'm talking about. I, I guess. It's kind of like, um, yeah, like a sassy hand on hip. Like, I'm always trying to like find like a good example. Oh, give me one second, guys. Okay, so you see this? Like, so just like imagine like the hand, but it's like. I don't wish I could like draw on this, but instead of like the hand placed on the hip, it's like the back of the hand on the hip, <laughs> you know? Oh my god, they put the cat in a harness. Give me a second. Oh my god, but yeah, so imagine this, but like instead of like the palm on the hip and the back of the hand. I'm gonna be like a little sassy and pouty in terms of like pose. I also want to get like um arm toggle where like okay thank you I hope you enjoy your other work and then um what was I saying all right and then like I want to have like an arm toggle where like I like cross my arms kind of you know but the one arm toggle that I really, really want is like, you know how like sometimes when you're like just fidgeting or whatever, kind of like twist or like rub some of your hair in between your fingers? I want to get something like arm toggle. I think that'd be like really cool. What do you guys think? That'd be cool. This is just like down and hold on. Wait, my place is going down in flames. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Seems really sassy. Yeah, but the, um, the one that I said before, like how you like finger some of your hair between your fingers, you know, like that. That's something that I actually really do the most. And also kind of like want it to be like, I'm also making like sort of kind of like a thinking face. Um, with like a little pout. But yeah, like I, I really do want to spice up this new bottle, definitely. I'll get her out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, I was thinking of like, um, is that also, you know, somebody who could do like a mascot for me? And I was thinking of like going to this one person where they like have like um, an arm toggle basically, where you can like hold your mascot. I would love to have that. I could hold you guys. Right, rainy season, which means the floor is going to get pretty quicker yes i did um i don't know if i actually like explicitly explicitly told all of you but i know i did tell tones and nod that um basically the mascot was going to be like a little baby chillin like like um <laughs> like a small one but it's going to be made up of like leaves twigs and vines the entire body is made up of leaves. And the horns would be like twigs and stuff like that. The tail, vines, um, and the feet maybe like little rocks here and there. But, you know, <laughs> gonna be very naturey. Bro, we literally just opened what? <laughs> But you know, before. I, w I would love to at least like have like a, what is it called again? Oh, a reference sheet for it. I'd love to at least have that. Game is that for a time your first minute open. We got like I, I have all these ideas that I want to do and try out. And I really hope I can. But in order to do these things, you know, it requires funding, which I don't have. <laughs> it's 
Isn't this amazing, guys? That's what happens when it crashes. Saving and it just crashed. You know what? Yeah, not today. She's about to have an Iron Mouse video come out. That's cool. Hopefully, I don't want to do that. Is it like not me struggling? Let's see. Yeah, I, I kind of want. Oh, it's an hour? Okay, do you guys want to watch the hour one or do you just want to like watch one of these? <laughs> one of these days you'll see me in here or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to watch the hour one or one of the... Um, Maple, can you change the title to video watching? You know, Maple, it would have been cooler if you put B instead of V. E. <laughs> um, but...
A few weeks ago, I made a video on how Niji Sanji destroyed their own reputation and the events leading to their demise in public opinion. But a lot has happened since then and the people have asked for a part 2. And after all, who am I to go against the people's will? So here we go again. The flames were kindled on February 1st, 2024 with Niji Sanji's announcement of Kyo Kaneko's graduation. This revelation not only fueled the community's desire for change but also amplified public dissatisfaction. The subsequent two months were marred with ongoing controversies, the departure of key talents and a discernible lack of openness and responsiveness from any color, culminating in widespread frustration. While Kyo had hinted at being unhappy for a while, leaving the company after a mere year and a half pointed to a deeper, underlying issue within the company. And while it wasn't a surprise for most of his fan base who had seen the writing on the wall, it still raised questions and fueled public discourse. For Steven, Niji Sanji did one major mistake in publishing the graduation notice and setting the date on February of last year instead of this year, which caused them to get severely memed on <laughs> as this wasn't the first time their public notices and worst of all, their graduation notices oh had large God. mistakes in them, which really looked unprofessional. No, wait, wait, really? They really said 2023? Okay, okay. Okay, I, I will preface that yes, we are watching this video, but no, I will not be making any kinds of comments about my thoughts and opinions about Niji Sanji. The only thing you'll hear is that. Um. No bueno. <laughs> of their part. Just recently, another mistake slipped through in Pomu's graduation announcement, which took them a whole two days to rectify. It indeed took Niji Sanji so long to rectify this mistake that Pomu had to clarify it herself. But to any color's credit, at least they rectified the Kyo announcement letter in less than 24 hours. I guess there are perks to setting the bar really low for yourself sometimes. Kyo then addressed in the stream his reasons for graduating, citing seeking other creative endeavors and needing a fresh start <laughs> as motivations. But, you know, I'm leaving to pursue other creative avenues. The reasons given, which were not new, sparked doubts about the need for a fresh start after just a year and a half. It made people wonder why there wasn't an effort to build upon the existing foundation of the character he already had, especially if there was no major problems. Some speculated that health issues were behind the decision, but Kyo himself confirmed that his health did not influence his choice to graduate. Others pointed to a recent incident, highlighted in my previous video, where Kyo faced back for making a joke about Korea. This incident, or possibly a series of events, was suggested to have contributed to his decision. Despite being a corporate VTuber, Kyo Kaneko has not made any specific statements or given any hints of dissatisfaction with his company yet. Any speculations about his feelings toward the company seems to be based on interpretations of interactions such as a clip where he and Anna joked about graduating. Furthermore, he specifically mentioned that he always felt well Welcomed and appreciated by his fellow VTubers. I won't lie, I'd probably be the type of person to always joke about graduating. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'd be that kind of person. Be like, oh, this is gonna cause me to graduate. <laughs> what if I just graduate, you know, stuff like that? Despite my obvious differences, all of my fellow EN livers were always super welcoming and accepting of me. It made me feel like I belonged in Niji Sanji, which I will forever appreciate. The graduation announcement was received with mixed feelings, with the majority being saddened by the news. This article on VTuber News Drops claims that graduations are a natural part of a streamer's career. And while I agree with that, I don't believe Kyo's graduation case can be attributed solely to this. The comparisons made in the article don't equate to the relationships vtubers have with their age i would absolutely do the same like just constantly joke about getting fired yeah right <laughs> like like 
honestly. I, I don't know why I would, but I would. <laughs> They're like, at some point, what I actually do, everybody's gonna be like, oh, he's just joking, and it's actually true. <laughs> agencies when a streamer leaves an organization for example pokimane she will still be pokimane when a vtuber gets terminated or graduates from a company they lose their entire identity they lose their ip the character attached to them as well as every single social media or media channel they had on okay but i know like for some companies that's not necessarily the case that they do let you keep it I don't remember which company or companies that is, but it's not the case for all, just obviously need your son under that IP. But nevertheless, even if we set aside this distinction, the reasons why fans are upset is because this graduation is not an isolated event, but rather a pattern, a stacking of events that is causing this justified concern among the audiences. After all, where there is smoke, there is fire. And fire there was at Niji Sanji headquarters, because what happened next was simply mind blowing amidst the trending hashtag where is selen concerned fans known as dragoons were actively seeking information about the sudden absence of niji sanji vtuber selen tetsuki from social media and her vtubing activities for more than a month fans demanded explanations from the company about their favorite streamer's sudden disappearance especially since it happened amid a series of very disturbing events. For more information on that, please see my previous video. Even Selene's close friends started to voice their concern on Twitter, underscoring their genuine worry for her well-being. And on February 5th, Niji Sanji finally replied back to their queries with a graduation announcement, stating the formal termination of Selene Tatsuki effective immediately. Her YouTube memberships will be closed, her social media accounts will be made private, and the sales of her merchandise and voice related content will gradually halt but don't worry all the merchandise produced in 2023 of Selintatsky, including her in the lineup may be still released in the future after all somebody's gonna have to keep the lights on on this yacht Furthermore, the announcement stated the reasons behind her termination being the multiple breaches of contract and misleading statements on social platforms. For transparency, we have provided a detailed explanation of the circumstances and reasons that have unfortunately led us to this decision below. Then they proceed to state those reasons for transparency, of course. The violations include unauthorized usage of work and assets belonging to others affiliated with any color, disregarding the intentions of these parties, as well as a lack of communication with creators, resulting in delays in commission payments to creators by Selentetsky. Furthermore, there have been ongoing reports about inappropriate behavior by Selentetsky throughout her time as a Niji Sanji EN VTuber. After noting that Selen has repeatedly disregarded these warnings, often failing to reciprocate communication with her manager, the notice then reads additionally selentetsky has repeatedly posted false or misleading information on social media insinuating that the violations of the activity rules were due to mismanagement by any color they allegedly then warned her with a notice in may 2023 that if she didn't stop breaching the rules it would result in the termination of her contract they then add that on december 26 she posted a music video on her youtube channel without prior approval she had allegedly only shared the video with management on december 24th and they told her to hold off on it while she obtained the proper missing permissions despite this she disregarded the notice and proceeded with the unauthorized posting of the video there you want to know what the thing is like we honestly don't know what goes on in these companies so you really have to like take everything with a grain of salt on both sides, both the both the liver and the company. Because again, we don't know. For all we know, both sides could be lying to try to seem like the victim. Um, no, I'm not saying anything about this situation. I'm just saying in general. Like, again, just never believe everything you read on the internet because, again. 
that everything is true. So always, always have a little bit of doubt about things. Um, like obviously, like um, with the whole Rushia thing. Also, like have doubts about people too, because you truly don't know the person on the other side of the screen. So even if you feel like you can absolutely trust this person, um, or something like that. Just just be careful not to overshare with anybody because you never know when it'll come back to essentially bite you because they decided that they want to spread your information around or spread false information about you that's absolutely not true. And it's even worse if like this person has like a huge backing behind them and everybody's just like, Kind of like a hive mind mindset, you know? Yeah, just just doubt. Have some doubts here and there. Immediate response was to make the video private, after which she took to social media, specifically X, making misleading statements that omitted essential context. Furthermore, Selentetsky's post includes a statement encouraging third parties to re upload the music video, which breaches any color's guideline for secondary creation. These actions led to various misunderstandings that damaged the reputation of both any color and Niji Sanji E. In addition to that, Any Color admitted to something very important, that Selene had, in fact, been locked out of accessing her social media accounts. The decision was made to temporarily remove her access to accounts on various social media platforms and video distribution services under the name Selentetsky. Yes, the 4chan shitposters were actually right. I was fooled. We were all fooled. But the next part of the announcement was even more alarming. They wrote, Selene refused to continue her activities as a VTuber due to the decisions made by any color and was harassed by other affiliated VTubers due to mismanagement, among other issues. Any color believes that the claim raised by Selene actually referred to the situations that arose when she was warned about her breaches of the activity rules, attempting to shift the responsibility for these violations and thereby damaging the image of any color. And and Niji Sanji EN. This led to the deterioration of the relationship between her, Any Color, and other VTubers affiliated with Any Color. They also added that they firmly believe they and the other VTubers under their affiliation have not engaged in unjust practices towards her. Then they had the audacity, the gall, to add Considering the irreparable damages to our company's reputation and the threat to the ongoing activities of other affiliated VTubers, we regrettably concluded that the termination of our affiliation contract with Sentetsky was unavoidable. Frankly, your company's reputation has been in the gutter for two years now. Besides, if a single VTuber managed to irreparably damage your reputation, I've got news for you. Something probably isn't working properly within your company. Funnily enough, this announcement got even community noted on X just a few hours after its release, stating, Lack of communications with creators resulted in delays in Selentatsky's commissioned payments to creators. Creators who have been commissioned by Selene have stepped forward denying these claims, even saying she had paid them out of pocket due to management not doing so. And it links to this tweet made by said artist claiming that Selene had to pay out of her own pocket when the company hadn't paid them after months of waiting. I just want to say that it was amazing working with Selene. She was very kind and responsive. She even paid out of her own personal PayPal account when the company hadn't paid me after months of waiting. I just want to say that's absolutely wild. Like, how, how does a company do that? Like, 
I don't know, man. Like, you would think, like, your company would help you out with, like, obviously some things. Like, um, getting a new model. Paying for, like, giving you, like, an allowance for, like, art and stuff like that or whatever. But they literally just said that they were waiting for months for the company to pay them, but they never did. So she had to pay out of her own pocket. It just makes me wonder, like, how how have they gotten away with that for so long, you know? How did they? For clarity purposes, I need to explain that there was a narrative that got a lot of traction a few moments later claiming that the Japanese version of this announcement letter did not mention harassment by the livers. People should read the Japanese version of the statement too because it's more specific, saying that Selene was not harassed but merely pointed out by other livers, probably because she didn't respond to the management nor listen to them, so other livers had to persuade. This tweet got community noted and my team confirmed that the images shown were in fact the wrong paragraph. The Japanese version does mention Selen being harassed by other livers, which is quite ironic considering that the letter states that they aim to create an environment where their affiliated livers can safely perform their activities. Sorry, but the part you are using is different. The correspond part is here and it is worse as it said, harassed by liver from any color which is worse as they confirmed is an any color liver. And this would be shortly confirmed by Selene herself tweeting from her alt account, Dokibert. I will not be silenced anymore. On December, I was hospitalized for an attempt that was caused by a buildup of bullying from within and being in a toxic and poor environment for numerous months that led to my breaking point. I requested to leave first, but on more neutral terms on 26th of January. Furthermore, she added, I will be returning here soon as I will like to celebrate Lunar New Year with all of you. This holiday means a lot to me and my Chinese culture as someone that lived in China for a big portion of my life. It should be the start of happiness and new beginnings. That's just crazy. Like, like you're all in the same company. Because like you would expect like if you're like in a group or part of a company, you would necess not necessarily you would want to like work together. Because you're all basically like trying to make a living out of this, right? And like, I mean, I guess that to a certain degree, there is a little bit of competition in VTubing because, like, obviously, you want the viewers and you want them to come back and stuff like that. And that means, like, I don't even know, but. Even then, it's like, I feel like it's better if you just, like, try and help, like, help each other instead of, like, trying to tear each other down. Because then it's like, you're building, like, this kind of toxic community. And then you'll be attracting nothing but toxic people. And then you'll start wondering, oh, how did it get like this? And why is it like this? And then even if you try to, like, get it back to, like, Something normal it'll be kind of impossible because that'd be literally most of your um viewer base you know and plus you would think like people who have been in the company longer or whatever would want to be there and help you out and, like give you like some guidance here and there but apparently not here and it just makes me wonder like is it happening in like other parts of Niji Sanji and stuff like that? And continued to tweet throughout the day, at first by saying, I am still me. Every memory and achievement I've earned is still me. They cannot take that away. Please let everyone know that this is where I am now. I hope you all can find me again and we can laugh together again. And finally ending with a voice memo. Anyway, I just want to say thank you, everybody. I'm just, just a huge weight off my shoulders. And it's going to be hard, but I know we are strong together. <laughs> and I'm just happy I'll be able to celebrate Lunar New Year with all of you. Because that was what I was most, I guess, <laughs> not most concerned about. But at least we get to start off Lunar New Year a little happier. 
<laughs> but there was a silver lining through all of this, because throughout this tumultuous time, Doki Bird's account experienced an explosive surge, skyrocketing from 9,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers in just a few hours, as fans flooding in with an overwhelming display of support. She then tweeted, I hope I can fix my sleep schedule before I stream again, because I just woke up. But 200k subscribers already? I never thought I would be able to get a play button, let alone before my first stream. Confirming at the very same time the speculations that Niji Livers didn't get a play button. Which is insane as you can order multiple play buttons for a single channel. That's how creators share this very important reward with members of their teams such as their editor or their staff or their content managers. On top of Oh. oh, you know what? I mean, I guess it's fine. I think most of you in here are subs. Yeah, I guess I can continue. And those who aren't subs, well, um, see you after the ad break. <laughs> that VTuber twins Fuamoko from the company Hololive have each received a YouTube play button. <laughs> However, the turmoil didn't stop here. As the internet descended into a complete and utter chaos, fans revolted in anger as the situation intensified. The Niji Sanji stock price dropped by more than 10%. Fans expressed their outrage over the termination notice. The Wikipedia page on Black Company added Niji Sanji as one of its examples. The initial announcement of Selene's termination led to a series of revelations through throughout the day, with new findings emerging left and right from various sources constantly. This not only added fuel to the fire, but also further tarnished Niji Sanji's reputation, or do I dare say, sink the ship of their standing in the community. This statement in particular, that Selene might have been harassed within the company by staff or fellow livers to the point where she attempted to take her own life is what caused the biggest uproar online. Many jumping to conclusions as to who these perpetrators might be and the blame majorly fell on Enna, Millie and Elira. The narrative, albeit widely speculative, being that these girls were friends prior to entering Niji Sanji and that they fostered a clique environment. This was hinted and kind of showcased in the past when Nina Kosaka, ex Niji Sanji talent, mentioned feeling left out of a few group calls when they singled her out. I tried to get Etheria into a group call twice a week. I would be like, hey, you know, we should maybe talk. We should like get to know each other before, you know, like we yeah. don't really know each other, blah, blah, blah. They kept telling me that they were busy and they couldn't make the call. And then months down the line, I found out that like, the three of them would like voice call each other and when i found that out like I'll, I'll be honest i got a little like i don't know i just felt like man i'm just trying to be like a cool co-worker and i kind of took it personally and i was like mm. ah. you know and then i just started doing my own thing <laughs> The resurfacing of an older incident where Finana criticized Sayu further fueled speculation. With the recent announcement about Zion that happened, I believe on what was mentioned on the termination thing, Ooh, it mentions things end. like how she lied to other people and stuff, and I apparently happened to be one of those people actually so i hate that i'm a really nice person sometimes and like to give others the benefit of the doubt but there was one time where i was trying to help her out um i gave her some advice you know to you know do it properly but she didn't really listen to what i said so that got her in trouble and i thought it was a misunderstanding from staff side, so I spent some of my time to sort of defend her a bit. Um, but then I realized I got gaslit after that. I was like, oh my god, I did all of that for nothing basically, so I, I felt really horrible about it. Sayu, a former Niji Sanji member who had been terminated, had previously spoken out against the company. 
Despite this, Niji Sanji's supporters initially criticized her as an unreliable source and discredited her for the few mistakes she had made during her tenure. However, now that some undeniable facts had come out and more people begun to realize the truth in Sayu's revelations about the company's unfairness and internal issues, opinions started to shift, turning the tables in her favor. It sucked so much to be backstabbed by so many of them. When I put, I did so much behind the scenes for them, and I did so much to show them that I loved them and that I cared. Same with Finana. There was a reason that she was one of the few people that like Zion collaborated with alone, like in a solo collab, is because she met up with her in person, had a good time together at like the music festival, you know? I couldn't believe what I couldn't believe what she said, honestly. As attention turned toward these three VTubers, Anna went live on her members only stream to express her thoughts about the whole situation. She urged her fanbase not to defend her, to keep to themselves amidst the turmoil, and most importantly, to take care of their mental health. However, the carefree tone she used during the stream, making her seem unaffected by the situation, coupled with her poor choice of wording when she said, Don't waste your time digging for the truth. I know you guys full on support me at some point. I feel like even if I kill someone, you guys would still support me. Particularly when the company's actions, she is. No way she actually said that. R what? That's like the worst thing you could say during a time like that. Like I, I wouldn't even like say anything like that, even if it, even if my company wasn't in like a shit show. <laughs> like, bro. I don't, I don't think I like. I don't think joking like that is good like saying like oh even if i kill someone you'll still love me and support me right like that's gross <laughs> like yikes associated with nearly led someone to consider taking their own life further fueled these speculations not only that but then a screenshot surfaced of Of her liking a comment from a member stating that they don't see how this Selene situation is such a big deal that didn't look too good in the eyes of the public. Due to the Niji Sanji statement essentially throwing their livers under the bus and leaving them prey to the mobs of angry fans, this resulted in fans starting to harass some of these livers. But also we saw lots of Niji Sanji fans refusing to support the company any longer and starting to unsubscribe from Niji livers en masse across the board but especially hitting members of the aforenoted clique. And on this note, I'd I'd like to add that while unsubscribing from Niji livers is one way to protest, as you cannot separate the livers from the company, harassing or bullying members based on pure speculations is never. What's crazy about people um, unsubscribing on mass? I mean, you tell me, Ninja. If you heard things that you did and you were basically a fan of like Niji Sanji EN, you're telling me you wouldn't want to unfollow because I feel like I would because, you know, I don't know who may have been, you know, bullying this person and I wouldn't want to support a bully, you know, because who knows what all they're doing and saying behind the scenes that we don't know about. Unless you were talking about um um her basically saying uh I could kill somebody and you guys would still love and support me, then yes, that is definitely crazy. Like I just don't think you should joke about that at all. 
for the play. If you are misredirecting your anger and hate on lifers before further evidence comes out, then you are contributing to a callout culture. Stand against corporations and stand against a true misdemeanor, but by playing into their game, we are lowering ourselves to their standards. Besides, if people want those livers to leave the company by attacking their metrics, I believe it actually would end up making the talents even more scared to leave, thus making Niji Sanji's hold on them even greater. It's simply more of a net positive to go support Doki Bird instead and show everybody how the grass is greener there. Besides, I'll argue that Niji Sanji is a publicly traded company. They and their shareholders will only answer to one thing. Money. Money talks, after all, and if you want to hit them where it really matters, it's much more efficient to simply stop buying their merch, on which they get the majority of the cut, as their livers only earn a mere 2% of it. On February 7th, 2024, they even released a statement to their shareholders, reassuring them that the impact of the decision on terminating Selentetsky on their financial status will be negligible. Thus, it's clear in black and white if you seek to demonstrate that your choices are significant target their bottom line making an impact on their profits especially visible in their quarterly financial report is an effective way to show the weight of your decisions and you can still buy non-official merch from third-party artists if you still want to support your Oshis. The hashtag SingTheYacht started trending on Twitter and Selene's mods went rogue on her official channel and managed to hijack her stream, opening it to promote her Doki Bird account. This was evidently terminated by management as soon as they found out, to which these mods then moved to Twitch and proceeded to do the same, with people spamming Sing the Yacht in chat. Some Niji Sanji talents then took to Twitter to react and give their two cents on the situation. Sorry that this took, I just needed to get my head straight since there's so much going on. Treasure the ones you love, show them how much you care. I'll do my best to be here for anyone who needs it. For anyone who needs the opposite, take care of yourself. I've picked up cross stitching and it's really helped. Take this opportunity to explore new hobbies if you want to take your mind off of something. I'll be focusing on self-care and being there for people who need it. Be kind to each other and don't be afraid to take time for yourself. We're all human. I'll continue to stream regularly and do my best to provide a safe and comforting place for the I community. I kind of know. Okay, I kind of like heard something about, um, Yugi. I mean... I, I won't say it on stream, but it wasn't a good thing. And it, it made me a little bit uh, weirded out. <laughs> like, and like, they also compared it to like what the Gil guy said. And I'm like, you know what? That does make a lot of sense. That, um, maybe there's a little bit of favoritism. Um, but yeah. I won't say anything else. <laughs> Notice that every time I get sad, I just curl into my blanket and read romance manga until my head is filled with some cute stuff. Still feeling pretty down, but a story about smoking at the back of the supermarket is legit adorable. Hey guys, I think we're gonna cancel tonight's stream. See you tomorrow. Section my right contact head on my elbow was so strong. My elbow came a waterfall. I'm always here for your smile, my loves. I'll speak for myself. Very unfair situation. I'm really upset. Please be respectful. I'm gonna need some time. I'm sorry, everyone. Many of them announcing their breaks or hiatus from social media or activities. Hey, Alu peeps. I'm gonna be away from social media for a while. But I just want to remind you guys, please take care of yourselves. Love you guys. I'm really sorry, everyone, but I'll have to be taking some time away from socials. Love you, Teridachi. Maybe with everything going on, I'll take a few days off social media for my well-being. Take care, everyone. Many prominent figures also tweeted in reaction to the news. For example, Lily Pichu, whose song was covered by Selene, an event that should have brought her joy, ended up being tied to the events that would lead to her termination instead. I let them, Niji, know I'm okay with it back in August 2022. I feel very honored every time someone covers my song. I very much enjoyed Selene's cover, so it's sad to see what happened. Or notably, why are you sad in this all of a sudden? Well, it is a pretty sad situation. The fact that they let things get 
this bad to the point that they almost took their life well not even almost that they they attempted basically i would say that's pretty sad that a company that's basically supposed to be helping you is basically pushing you into the grave and burying you at the same time you know so not surprising that anybody would feel sad it's like now i'm not saying like the workplace is like supposed to like be like um basically like your guardian to like protect you from all these things but it's also not supposed to be like the opposite where it's like pushing you and breaking you to the point that you just don't want to be here anymore i know Kina and Kuro, having worked at the company before, also had something to say about it. Regardless of the current situation and what is likely going to happen over the next few days, it's good to remember that there are nice, hard-working people there who try a lot to please their fans still and make people's days even a little bit better. I hope they're okay. It's a fuck situation because on the one hand, the reaction to something like this is obvious, but on the other, the outcome potentially leads to innocent creators being out of a job too. It's fucked. It's sad. There has always been a lot of things I've wanted to say but could only joke or hint on, and even then those things would only hurt innocent people who are just trying to do what they love. So I stopped. But now it feels like a lot of things are about to happen from my knowledge, and it's gonna be unstoppable. As I said in my original tweet, holy moly. Shoto, a well-known indie VTuber, shared his insight, offering advice to creators aspiring to enter the world of VTubing. I hope more people in the VTubing space can get to see how wonderful the indie sphere of streaming is and realize you don't need an agency to shine. There's so much amazing talent and content from many hardworking people out there that also deserve the attention. But they do have to work hard as well and there's also the cost of a lot of rules to learn and restrictions and freedoms. I just personally dislike the idea of having to surrender my freedoms since it feels like I'd have to act through a filter 100% of the time and know I can speak up about certain things. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. Like, like yes, having like the backing of a company is great because, you know, there are just some aspects of YouTube and you don't have to worry about. But as he said here, there's also the cost of like a lot of rules and restrictions and freedoms and... I too would not like to like essentially have like this collar on me on what I can and can't do, especially you know, since you know how I am. Like, I just don't think I do well in such a, in such an environment, unfortunately, because I need my freedom. Like, yes, I do like having a little bit of structure, but I do need my creative freedom and whatnot and I'd probably end up breaking some rules just because you know I want to do my own thing and then also the other part where he's like not being able to speak up about certain things it's also like that too you know because it's like you have to be you have to like dance around the stuff and whatnot Especially if you're like in Japan or whatever, because I know like as Connor has mentioned it before, where like he couldn't really explicitly speak on like this entire situation at all because the defamation law in Japan is like very severe. Like even if it's like factual and stuff like that, they will still sue you for it. So and if a uh, you know. If you were to get into like a company that's in Japan, you most definitely don't want to like um say anything about situations like this. But yeah. I mean I also agree too, you know, you don't really need an agency to shine. It's harder, definitely, because Again, there's like so many VTubers 
whether they're part of a company or not and it's like people have so many to choose from so it's harder to shine basically but you can still shine But let us continue. And even Neanders talked about it on stream with Atol. Let's make him like a German name because he's a boxer, right? Name the dog Niji Sanji. <laughs> well, we're just going to have to get rid of him in two weeks, man. <laughs> yes, that's a different dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be mad at our, the pet food we give him and leave in two weeks, bro. <laughs> I want to keep this motherfucker around, man. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to only be giving him like 10% of the pet food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the rest is for me. <laughs> That's good. That was good. I enjoyed that. They cooked there. But back to seriousness, the spirit also saw large fan accounts, artists, and merch accounts turning their back on Niji Sanji and severing their ties with the company. Even one of their biggest stands, Jasmine, stating her discontentment against management, and rightfully so. In the days that followed, several sponsors withdrew from their collaborations with Niji Sanji. Initially, they lost a significant PCK sponsor, Height, which had a partnership spanning over three years. Hyde expressed their disappointment in the recent events with a statement that read, the recent events have quite frankly tanked our opinion of them, through no fault of the talents of course, and their most recent statement was the last straw. Furthermore, several merch stores such as Studio Nekomata have cleared out their full Niji inventory and have donated all revenues over $2,000 to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention prevention, which is incredible, as well as Mofu Merch who's made the decision to cancel all currently in progress Niji Sanji merchandise that has already been commissioned, as well as is currently holding a sale on all Niji Sanji related merchandise, with all proceedings from Selen related sales being donated to Chefs for Japan's and half of the proceeding from other Niji Sanji items to be donated to a mental health charity. Additionally, the creator behind a Niji Sanji animation channel has stated that he will also now be retiring from this channel and thank people for their support as well as many other merch stores and artists following suit in the statement including insulin's termination notice the blame was shifted to Selen for improper communication with creators which resulted in delays in her paying those artists for commissions in retaliation to the statement made by any color several artists came forward to share their experience working with Selen and the company. All of them stated that working with her was a pleasant experience, but most echoed a common sentiment. Niji Sanji had failed to send them proper NDA notices and had made several mistakes in the paperwork. This resulted in Selen having to pay out of her Sorry about suddenly pausing the video. Um, dinner's apparently ready, and then had to take the harness off the cat. 
her own pocket to fulfill those commissions instead. And amidst all of this discontentment, Niji, of course, decided to promote their new merch drop. Staying true to character as always. Due to its untimely nature, this move was not particularly well received by fans. Additionally, Niji Sanji's new voice pack just dropped and it also features Silentetsuki. Although she is no more with the company, they still own the rights to her IP and they claim to have already paid her for the voice back proceedings as per the graduation notice. In another revelation during this period of pure madness, popular voice actor Siu admits that he auditioned for Niji Sanji one. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that where he was like, oh yeah, I auditioned. They're like, okay, we'll sign you on, but you have to like, up being a voice actor and i'm like bruh <laughs> it's literally like who he is i'm gonna ask him to like just stop it just so you can essentially control and they told him that he would have to completely give up voice acting if he wanted to ever work for them i don't know the details why they left but if I had to imagine, it's probably something similar to the mindset I had. I've never told this story. I don't think I have. I interviewed for Niji years ago and I got sniped. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, for a second, I thought my internet died as soon as I said that. And I was like, huh? <laughs> they told me I could not do voiceover at all. They wanted the IP rights to my voice. But some of the most shocking. Yeah, essentially that. And I'm like, bro. Well, like, you're essentially telling him to, like, give up his career, his passion, his everything, just so he can work with you and get essentially a dust. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Narratives emerge a few days later when several allegations regarding some of the male talents in Niji Sanji came to light. Before diving into the allegations for the purpose of edutainment, it's crucial to note that these claims have very little evidence to support them at the time of recording this video, as this is a progressing story initially with an individual that took to reddit with a post claiming that they were involved with a male niji sanji english talent according to the post in question this talent used the individual's dream of one day draining niji sanji en to sexually harass abuse and exploit them for a year the person alleges they have been in touch with a lawyer and false id to whom they are prepared to send all evidence they also claim that their lawyer firmly believes that they have a strong case for revenge or prawn. Whether these allegations hold any truth or are merely an attempt at gaining clout as has been seen in past incidents, it remains uncertain for the moment. Narrative started being spun alleging harassment from the talent Aster Acadia to the talent Scarly Yonaguni. As these screenshots seem taken from the Niji Sanji Discord, netizens started to speculate as to who was the leaker, to which they finally pointed the blame on Luka Kaneshiro as the Discord screenshot showcased it's his voice being connected to it. Not only that, but four months ago he defended a company when he claimed that he didn't like when people shit talked Niji Sanji. Is there anything that comes to mind you really don't like? Oh, when people shit talk the company we work for. I don't like that. And this seemed to make him a good enough target for speculations. It's good to note that both Scarl and Aster went to livestream a tier list together a day after these leaks to prove that their friendship was indeed intact. These speculations were fueled even further by an ex Luca mod who claimed he used. used her and manipulated her in various ways. Whether these are the claims of an ex-gilded lover
cover or real i'll let you guys be the judge of that i won't go too extensively on this sorry i was reading <laughs> I, I sometimes like to you know the little things i mean it says her story is extremely long That In is this tweet, long. Luca oh my god that's like the length of like a fucking genshin impact artifact <laughs> the genshin impact artifact description is portrayed as a narcissist a manipulator accused of deceiving raziel his fans and his peers with a niji sanji his actions allegedly included taking advantage of Razel's work and skill, leading to her personal grievances. Razel asserts that she played a significant role in building a large portion of his Minecraft server, claiming Luca presented this as his own effort on his stream. She also mentions contributing to writing scripts for voice packs and assisting with his editing schedule and thumbnail creation, without receiving due credit from him. Furthermore, the story introduces Java, who is implied to to be Luca. It outlines the evolution of their relationship from shared interest to a deep friendship which later soured due to Java's deceitful and attention-seeking behavior as well as manipulation. Their once supportive friendship suffered because of Java's actions such as neglecting Raziel during her time Bro, obviously this is allegedly, but even still, it's like, what? Oh. People, they really just, I don't know, I'm not even going to say. Uh, I got to remember, I got to remember what I say. Ever on the internet. Times of need, to the extent she considered self harm, complaining about personal regrets and behaving inconsistently with his stated discomfort regarding certain viewers' interactions. Raziel was particularly troubled by his reaction to sexualized comments and nicknames from viewers such as daddy which he disdained yet seemingly encouraged towards the end of their friendship Brazil felt used and excluded, which she believes contributing to her declined mental health. She was purportedly not allowed to socialize with his new circle of prominent streaming friends. The narrative also touches on allegations of sexual harassment. harassment and inappropriate on-stream behavior, though Raziel expresses a wish to move beyond these issues. She also points out Java's problematic conduct in professional settings, including harassment and fabricating details about his educational background. The most severe claim in all of this
No way. Oh, jeez. It'd be even worse if all of this. Like, imagine doing that. Like, some people just should not. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, some people, they don't think before they, like, post. And that's how, like, sometimes they get into, like, these bad situations. <laughs> some people, you know, just away from social media and do yourself and everybody else this is the one raziel makes about java's behavior on social media she alleges if you want to know how unhinged java has been i can confirm he created multiple twitter accounts to harass people about not being accepted into niji sanji he would even tweet during our joint streams i'm not sure of his motives but i ended up having to manage the fallout from his action and lie about his involvement if anyone asked a few days later during a luxium and noctis collab niji livers even addressed the leaks oh. Um, I will agree to this. Oh, oh good. In oh my case, god, secrets! It, it, in fact, yeah, oh, yeah, leaks? Yeah. Leaks? Leaks? Friend oh. A? <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But the most significant highlight from this video is undoubtedly the triumphant return of Doki Bird, Selene's alternate account. She shattered records with her comeback stream, reaching a peak of 125,000 live viewers. Fans and bystanders alike united to show their support for the streamer. During the stream, she addressed her termination and discussed what transpired during the month-long silence. I can say I was in the hospital for an attempt and I provided medical documents of everything that happened to prove it as well as the therapy sessions afterwards and doctor evaluation. Everyone knew I was in the hospital and the reason behind it a few days before I was discharged and I was not referencing something that happened once that pushed me to it but it was a buildup that stemmed for multiple months that led to my breaking point. She also disclosed that she made zero profit last year with expenses totaling up to $200,000. This revelation sparked further concern regarding Niji Sanji's compensation practices toward their talent and the lack of financial support for necessary assets by the company itself. My mom scolded me about this because during all of this, she looked at my financials and I made zero profit last year. <laughs> she was like, you have to spend less because you spent $200,000 last year. And I, and I, I was like, <laughs> I mean, our expectations were low, but God damn. However, the most crucial takeaway might be that this event signifies a pivotal moment and establishes a precedent for all corporate VTubers considering breaking their contract or graduating from a corporate entity. It demonstrates that opportunities can indeed be brighter elsewhere and making a successful transition from corporate to independent is achievable. Doki Bird seems genuinely content with her newfound freedom and new manager. This should hopefully and encourage future VTubers to be less apprehensive about making the leap. It's apparent that laying a solid foundation through extensive networking and building connections outside of their affiliated agency through collabs can significantly ease this transition. And Selen networked a lot. This is evident by the support Doki Bird has received from numerous prominent creators during this period. Filian herself even expressed enthusiasm about collaborating with this Doki Bird person once they officially debuted. Yo, Chet! Do you guys hear the new VTuber on the block? Her name's uh, Doki I told Bird. You it wasn't working, but you um, hear it. I haven't met her before, but I think it'd be really sick nasty to hang out you with her. So Maybe we should hang out and have fun together. And I cannot stress enough the importance of having a past life account to fall back on in case of an entanglement with your company of employment. Doki ended the stream mentioning that she wanted to put everything behind her and asked for people not to harass anybody as she knows all too well 
how that feels. Let's not harass or bully anybody. I already know how that felt. I want us to be adults and not make it high school. And I want to move on, focus on us, succeed and be better. In the days that followed, Doki Bird seemed to be getting adjusted back to her new life. And while the drama was still fresh in everyone's mind, emotions were starting to simmer down. After all, Doki had stated that she wished everyone would move on and people were finally calming down. Niji Sanji was mentioned less and less and everybody was slowly starting to move on. But of course, that was too good to be true. On February 12th, Elira Pandora tweeted from her account 30 minutes before going live. Hi everyone, thank you for your patience during my absence. Myself and some others will be speaking about the recent situation in 30 minutes from now. The time of the announcement matching exactly with the Doki Bird waiting room who was scheduled to play Neopets on stream at the time. Everyone waited anxiously for the announcement to happen. Would they reveal who the abuser was? Would there be graduations within the company? Or will this be simply the livers thanking the fans for their support through this tough time? But what actually happened was far, far worse than anyone could have imagined. The video begins with Elira Pandora mentioning that she volunteered her channel to discuss the recent events accompanied by Ike Eveland and Vox Akuma. She then proceeds to explain that everything they will discuss has been approved by a lawyer, noting that there are limits to what they wish to share. She describes how they've been significantly affected by the events that have transpired and are taking the accusations of harassment against Selen Tatsuki very seriously. All of us do not condone harassment of any kind to any of the parties involved. After discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Ian as a collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. First, she discusses how Any Color has received a legal document from Selene's lawyers mentioning a potential that this information could be made public. She expresses concern over the fear among the talents that this could lead to doxing, noting that a portion of the document hints at where she and Millie resides. She stays feeling threatened and scared to speak out against this situation, fearing for her safety and that of those around her. I felt threatened and scared of speaking out about the situation because of the risk that it could pose to not just my own safety, but the safety of those around me as well. This, she points out, is confusing as everything discussed, including court files, should be subjected to attorney-client privilege. So how could it get leaked? Moreover, her mention that the documents name both Millie and herself has inadvertently fueled speculations about harassment within the company, which unfortunately is likely to further escalate harassment directed at the talents themselves in the days and weeks to come. She then ends her part stressing how they reached out to Selene after her hospitalization to confirm her safety and thanks everyone for their patience. And you know what? I have my plight with a couple of things said there, but if the announcement ended here, it probably wouldn't even have been that bad. But then Vox takes over. So Vox explained that he's here to share his experience with Selen and ask people to take the information he's about to provide at face value. And then proceeds to immediately Oh my god. Take everything at face value. When you're speaking on the internet okay well i'm gonna take a little short break guys get some in me some act i'll be right back and we will do
I'm back. I got food. Game's ready to continue. Oh, we're almost to the end. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> thank you, Ninja. Thank you. But honestly, so far, out of everything that we've watched, this just makes me like not want to, you know, go corpo. Like, I know. Not every company is as bad as Niji Sanji, but like I said before, I I can't be collared. <laughs> I cannot. I'd probably say and do things accidentally and end up getting myself terminated. <laughs> right, let's continue. Immediately throw Selen under the bus as he explained what went on internally with the Selen cover privatization issues. She had been asked to send the content of her music video to her manager in advance of the release date so it could be checked for content etc, which is something that all wivers agree to do. Her manager communicated with her about this very clearly, um, but she released her cover without giving management time to check it and as a result, it needed to be made private. It was going to be made public again once the checks had cleared. Uh, management absolutely intended to let her release the cover once they'd made sure that it was okay to release. As netizens speculated, it was indeed an issue with getting additional permissions regarding the ex Niji livers present in the video. The screenshots show that Selen attempted to get a confirmation on December 24th at 8.30 a.m. Her managers then responds 36 hours later, stating that because ex Niji livers are shown in the video, they will require additional confirmations. The manager left unanswered, then responds on the 26th the next day with, why did you release this before I got confirmation? Keep in mind here that these timestamps are probably in JST, so they are one day in advance. This makes more sense with the timeline as we know her video got privatized on the 25th, so basically their 26th of December is our 25th. The subsequent screenshots display her manager stating that he has set the video to private pending confirmation and that there's a possibility she might need to modify it prior to republishing. Essentially, this implies she'll have to remove it, edit it, and then re-upload the video. The in-house YouTube editor offers extremely limited tools. One can essentially only remove a segment of the video or blur it, and that's about it. The manager then adds, if you post anything to explain about it, please confirm it with me. Then the screenshots showcase that the tweet happened 15 minutes after this message went through. He then emphasizes a recurring pattern of events with Selene, highlighting that this scenario has repeated itself multiple times. It's very important to establish this pattern of events had happened before on multiple occasions. Echoing a lot of the corporate speak Niji utilized in their termination letter, such as mentioning how Selene made public statements that harmed the company's reputation. She would make public statements that would hurt any colleague's reputation. And as these situations kept occurring, Myself and other livers felt very upset and anxious. And pointing out Selene's repeated pattern of behavior, along with misdemeanors relating to Selene's disregard for the rules. And as these situations kept occurring, myself and other livers felt very upset and anxious. We felt that these statements harmed all of us. As a you are the breadwinner of the company. Of course, you cannot understand the struggles that Selene goes through when she is denied permissions and being reprimanded over and over again. Fox also strongly denies in his statement any of the claims Selene has made in that document. It's this event that they claim to be a buildup of, uh, or, and what they claim to be a buildup of past experiences that led to accusations made by Selene that she was bullied and harassed. As you can imagine, this is incredibly serious, and I want to state that throughout my friendship with Selene, I did my best to support her in private and talk to her about any problem she might have been having whenever I had the chance. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to Any Color by her lawyer 
and based on what I know personally and have been told by Selene as her friend, myself and other members vehemently believe these claims to be completely untrue. I feel very confident in saying um, that the way I and other livers communicated with Selene about this incident was fair and reasonable especially considering our built-up anxiety over this repeating pattern of behavior. Claims we are still unaware of. I followed this issue up with my managers and I was told that they didn't reach out because they didn't want to cause further controversy at the time. Uh, however, I've been asked to delete other tweets on multiple occasions when I've accidentally broken a rule. In these cases, we're politely informed that when we should avoid tweeting something, uh, we apologize, delete it, and move on. He moves on to discuss the contents of the legal document. Following this, he addresses the erosion of trust in his relationship with Selene. The real issue here, however, is that someone I trusted and considered a friend not only recorded me in secret, but also that these recordings were held without my knowledge for almost an entire year. Selene is Canadian and she's allowed to record phone call if she was building a case against Niji Sanji. Besides, you practically admitted with this that Niji Sanji did show you favoritism. We then found out that on multiple occasions, Selene had planned to graduate, deciding not to do so. Vox claims that livers are free to leave the company at any time. For example, she told me that she would be graduating on the day we hosted the Prism Cup. But as you know, this didn't happen. She also, after being warned by staff due to her repeated rule breakages in May of last year, told other livers that she was being terminated at that time, when, like I said, she had just been warned and nothing else. I personally never have seen a contract in my life that can be terminated at any given time. There is always, at the very least, a set amount of time you gotta give or some kind of penalty you gotta pay if you decide to break the contract before its times runs out. So I am very curious to see these aforementioned Niji contracts. Fox then goes on to say he felt so strongly in support of Selene at one point that he would have graduated with her in solidarity. Until he learned later on that she was telling him half-truths and omitted texts. Not only because of it made me now re-examine our entire friendship, but primarily because the document contains some information that we believe is incorrect, that could be harmful for us, and it's just private information that is very terrifying to have being you know shown before you like that i don't understand why they keep harping on feeling unsafe yes your private information will be shown in legal documents she didn't leak it it is part of legal proceedings i also do not understand why they are taking this so personally selene is building a case against the company they work for it has nothing to do with their friendships this event really made the public wonder why were the livers shown these documents in the first place? What kind of purpose did management have in doing so? What kind of... True, though, because, like, isn't it supposed to be, like, between only those two parties, basically, this liver and Niji Sanji, not um, the other Niji Sanji liver? It's like, that's just, like, obviously, like, a breach of, like, um... Essentially, like a breach of contract, basically. Because, like, again, like I said, it's supposed to just be between, just be between those two people, unless there's a third party specified. And I'm pretty damn sure that um, she didn't specify a third party. <laughs> it's like why? Uh, I I just don't understand. I I, I really don't. <laughs> Like, why would they? I mean, again, like, I mean, I feel like even in, like, Japan, that's still, like, kind of, like, the standard where it's only, like, between those two parties and they're not essentially allowed to talk about it like other people unless they're, like, involved with it. I don't know, man. I don't know. manipulation is happening behind the scenes here this is starting to sound eerily familiar to what happened with the sayu termination when several of her ex really close quote-unquote friends 
in the company suddenly turned their back on her after her termination and were publicly very critical of her. Honestly, uh, what's said in the announcement is pretty simple and clear, I feel like. Um, she broke the rules, um, a lot of the rules. And we as the XLA member um, really tried really hard. We, we tried really hard to discuss things over with her about her mistakes. Um, we sometimes even fought with her for some things. My personal opinion about this, I cannot, I can say that I cannot agree with the statements and actions. I don't know if I can say that I'm in the state to wish her good luck on her future ahead for now, for now. I feel like the public deserves to, at the very least, be aware of the existence of these documents. Why? Needless to say, netizens didn't react the way Niji Sanji expected for various reasons. First of all, sending your top two earners to make a statement doesn't carry the weight you might think it does. This is especially true when favoritism in VTuber agencies is extremely common. Someone who has most of their project approved without issues and is reprimanded very little won't share the same frustrations with management that someone like Selene does. Secondly, while the screenshots may or may not prove that Selene failed to get the proper approval before releasing Last Cup of Coffee, they don't reveal at what stage of the approval process she really was. We don't know if this was her 10th approval, the last approval stage with just like a few touch-ups that you usually don't even need to confirm, or even her very first approval. Speaking from experience, the approval process in a very bureaucratic company is extremely lengthy. But the truth of the matter is, management was well aware that the deadline for this music video was on December 25th, likely months in advance. They should have shook heaven and earth to meet this deadline and not taken 36 hours between replies. This event still showcases a lack of competency and an inefficient process from Niji Sanji. Thirdly, while it seems Selen might have messed up by releasing the video prior to approval, this was completely overshadowed by the lack of compassion towards someone who recently came out of the hospital and had attempted on their life due to a poor work environment. The lack of concern for her was troubling. The fact that multiple people banded together to criticize her is unprecedented in entertainment. I do kind of agree though. Like, when this is all going on, I was just silently like watching and some reading some stuff. And, like, they really just wanted to like get it over with essentially. Like, wow. Cold hearted. Additionally, two out of the three people were not involved in any public allegations. They didn't need to call her out, they did not need to speak up, they didn't need to mention the document, and could have just as easily walked away and forgotten about everything. The legal proceedings hadn't started, the few thousand subscribers they lost during that time were merely a blip on the radar and they would have regained them over time. Whether or not someone convinced them to do this or talked them into it, we do not know. But imagine joining an agency and or talk them into it. Wait, what does this say? <laughs> I, I know it's serious, but it's just... <laughs> oh my god. To it, we do not know. But imagine joining an agent. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like it should just be like confidential between her, her, both parties and their lawyers. So weird. Oh hi, Tones. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just um basically watching the video because i wanted to watch more video essays on stream and like you know 
talk here and there about it. Now, like I said, I won't like speak too much on it because again, Doki Bird wants to move on from it. Oh, thank you for the sub, <laughs> oh, Samara. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. <clears throat> um. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm not gonna speak too much on it because again, Doki Bird wants to move on from it, and again. I also do have to watch what I say because what I say will forever be on the internet. And you, you really don't want to say a wrong thing and then people start dogpiling on you. Jit tripping? Oh, what is that? Hey, Pi Day? Oh, yeah, it is Pi Day. Yeah, we're almost done with the video. <laughs> we did take a little break though, so I can go get some dinner. And see, and getting fired, and then having your former boss and all of your former colleagues band together to publicly slander you. This should be a massive red flag to all future employees, or even all current employees. And the investors equally didn't like this statement because the stock's price took another dip. More importantly, it. This whole thing really be summed up to the one meme. Shut up, just shut up. Stop talking. I mean, I guess, but it's also like, what am I trying to say here? Like, why, why did it get to this point? Like, obviously, like, I guess, cause like, Niki Sanji just wants money. And as long as they can make money, they don't care what happens, I suppose. According to all this, of course. <laughs> um, and then, like, yeah, just not having proper management, I guess. Mm. It just sucks, you know? like i was saying earlier you kind of like expect like um your company to like help you out not be the one pushing you off like a fucking cliff how comes it yeah probably but you know they have a quote unquote image to keep you know It seemed as though management was attempting to redirect the backlash the company was facing into the talents, which is <laughs> Oh my god. Precisely what nobody wanted. This is a common occurrence in large corporations who, when confronted with controversy, choose to remain completely silent. As a result, people become frustrated and start directing their anger at any visible representative of the company. This is exactly what transpired when Elira volunteered her channel to make this announcement. Her subscriber count began to sharply decline, and she lost tens of thousands of followers in a matter of minutes. Additionally, this corroborates with leaked Discord messages from Selene from supposedly her art contest Discord that was back then unconfirmed. It feels relevant to pull this out again as everything stating in that message turned out to be true. Are all the fucking 4chan leaks real? The answer is no, definitely no. Doki Bird, who was live during this announcement, reacted immediately on stream with... All I will say is that I will put up another statement in later on because I believe there are some lies being told right now and I have further evidence and proof later on. Regardless, if there is any anything going on, there will be a future statement being published by me 
later on and that will further support my evidence and if you guys hear anything there is a lot of slander and a lot of lies going on and then added on twitter i will say that it was never supposed to be shown to anyone other than me my lawyer and other relevant lawyers it was a private document with my own personal information and was used as legal documents to help my lawyer and document my thoughts and was never supposed to release anywhere else to any other parties outside of legal department. It makes me wonder if my medical and hospital records was also released without my consent, as that was also promised to me to be kept private. I am currently talking to my lawyer, and thankfully only my diagnosis and reason for hospital stay was reported without further private info being disclosed. It was requested that none of this info should be revealed to anyone other than legal. Thank you everyone for the support. I really wish things didn't have to go this way. I didn't say anything more and I was ready to move on and start a new life. Niji Sanji then made announcement on Twitter in a record-breaking response time speed for them at least, where they clarified that the livers had not broken any confidentiality agreement. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct, legally, I everything was right, and now i get fucked and reiterating that they hadn't shown all of the documents to the livers but just specific don't are you forgetting whose stream you're on <laughs> don't forget whose stream you're on right now thank you parts of the legal documents. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to any color by her lawyer. Huh? Make it make sense. This is very much starting to feel like a David versus Goliath story where a single VTuber is standing alone up against a very large corporation. In the announcement stream, Ilira also mentioned that the company CEO Riku Tazumi would go live shortly with an announcement of his own, to which he did. Hello, I'm Rick Tazumi, CEO of Anycolor Inc. Please allow me this time to address your concerns. First, let me apologize. First of all, he apologizes for the wording in the letter to the investors published on the Anycolor website on February 7th. This, we unfortunately used the expression negligible to describe performance impact. And states that he will review how their communication in English will be done from now on. Our wording lacked consideration for the situation and caused Nissan EN fans and everyone who supports the Buchiba industry to feel that any girl ink undervalued the impact of Seren's contract termination or Seren herself. I deeply Bro, looks like he's reading off the cute cards. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> looks like somebody's behind the camera holding up cute cards. Like, <laughs> really regret this outcome and we'll be rethinking how our communication in English is done. Without a doubt, Seren was integral to the growth of Nisanji. What about the one you published on February 5th, her termination letter where you stated she had damaged your company's reputation irreparably? Riku then goes on to address the termination letter in question, but... <laughs> I mean, probably. But it's like... You just do what you're supposed to do. You won't end up in a situation like this, basically. You can't just start something and not take care of it, you know? <clears throat> Only address the concern the wording on the letter caused by making people think any color was providing an environment that was unsafe. At least he apologizes that his company's actions have led to the distress of their livers 
and for all the harmful messages they've been receiving during that period which is definitely a plus at least they acknowledged it but then surprisingly riku addresses the claims that the company wasn't supporting the en branch enough he explains that they didn't have a full youtube program set up until fall of last year he admits to a lack of live 3d content and he even mentions that they have been working on bettering their staff to better provide content for the en audience we have spent the past year recruiting and working on strengthening the en staff so we can better provide content for Nisanji EA. I hope this recruitment involves a new PR team. It's true that Niji Sanji has also been job posting for the past week to hire new part-time managers. Problem is, they're only willing to pay these managers minimal wage. This is literally shown on their website. I definitely think acknowledging the lack of support EN has received is a step in the right direction. That means that our demands have been heard and that they felt pressured enough to make a statement in response. Now, whether that statement ends up being turned into concrete actions, we shall see. I won't hold my breath, but I do sincerely hope that they will surprise me. Honestly, there is probably a timeline where Any Color decides to only release this particular announcement and not the one including the livers, where society ends up being all the better for it. On February 14th, Doki Bird makes what is hopefully her final statement on the matter. In that statement, she expresses the feeling of wanting to move on once and for all. She talks about the fateful document that the Niji Sanji party revealed to the public a few days prior, explaining she wrote it at the darkest time in her life. She refutes the claims that there were addresses or even locations mentioned in the document. Doki also explains how she never intended to record Vox Akuma maliciously, but that these were simply a leftover from a test recording they did together. She apologizes for the hurt she has caused to the other livers affected by this, which is, in this case, Vox. She explains that her termination notice came up a mere two hours after Niji Sanji's lawyers received the legal documents, after weeks-long silences. She then goes on to reveal that she had not one attempt, but in fact two, stating that her parents had shown up to find her just in time before anything happened. I don't want to think of what would have potentially happened if she didn't have people there for her at that exact moment. Doki Bird then expressed the deep desire not to see anyone else hurt in the process any further. Doki Bird's statement didn't point fingers. It didn't attack anybody. It was purely defensive and in response to Niji Sanji. It was a true testament to the kind and understating nature she is so well known for in the community, which starkly contrasted with the statement, harrowing accusations and character assassination attempts made by the any color side. In the past few weeks, blood has been drawn and people are out for it. I recommend navigating this very volatile situation with care and caution. As for Niji Sanji, it seems the controversies have reached a point of non-return. A line has been drawn in the sand. Which side will you choose? Right, I was muted. Basically, all I said was, we're done. And now I kind of have a better understanding. Like I said, I had seen like bits and pieces here and there. Oh, wait. Oh. I had seen like bits and pieces here and there, but um, I didn't really like know like the full scope of it. So, in essence, um, Niji Sanji really messed up in more ways than one, obviously. Um, but I do hope Doki Bird can, you know, 
recover, get better, move on, and have a better VTubing life from now on. But it just really sucks that, like, you know, stuff like this happens. Like, you think, like, oh, we're now, like, adults and stuff like that. Really, we're not going to do anything that'll, like, um, essentially go back to, like, the high school days. Or like do like a food chain kind of thing. But yet here we are. But I do feel like <clears throat> the only reason it's like that is because of essentially the culture of um Niji Sanji. Because it, it has been said or like rumored or whatever that like they don't really get like so much like unless you're like a favorite I guess and so you're basically like competing with your other livers for resources because wait she did do a video about um, more about Niji Sanji and like how, like some of the other branches closed like Indonesia and stuff like that where they're basically like um fighting for like resources and funding and stuff like that and like i personally feel like that shouldn't even be a thing like you should have enough resources for all the talents that you have and that you should always be like on top of the ball with everything that they want to do I think. But and this is just me, an indie VTuber, speaking about something I don't really know about, but sometimes it just feels like a little bit like common sense, you know? Like common sense tells you if you're going to start this kind of company, you are going to be expected to help them become their best. But did you miss, um, essentially the end of the video? Um... And right now I'm just talking. <laughs> Basically saying like things probably got this way because of the culture of Niji Sanji. And speaking about like in like one of her previous videos where like in in, in Niji Sanji Indonesia, a branch that was closed. And they were um essentially like either not getting funding or fighting for that funding and resources and that that shouldn't be happening in a company that is basically supposed to be there to support these people make them these big stars essentially I don't know. But like I said, I'm just the indie. I've been doing this for like half a year. I still don't know a lot of things. Especially about being part of a corporation. But some stuff just feels like common sense. Ugh. <sighs> And it's like and I was also saying like um like many times like your company is not supposed to be pushing you into your grave and burying you essentially like I'm not saying they have to sit there and like protect you like some holy mother but they shouldn't be the reason of like your untimely demise and fall.
Man, this entire thing, it's giving me some uh, emotional damage. Oh my god, I don't have it on the screen. <laughs> the whip. I didn't mess up. I never mess up. Emotional damage! <laughs> I'm not scuffed. Oh yeah, welcome back, Maple. Oh yeah, we also took a break so I can like go get food. <laughs> Do you guys want to watch like a different video? Or do you want to just talk for a bit and then and stream? But yeah, I'm just I'm looking for something that maybe you guys would want to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how have you guys been? Anything new you want to tell me about? Steven, he put out a new video. He did. <laughs> I guess we could take a look. He put out two new videos. Mm -hmm. Doing good, being bored. <laughs> I definitely feel that. I exist is all you're feeling. <laughs> I know that all too well, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. Did I not? Guys, I don't think I ever finished like um my my Twitch pages for like um six month, nine month a year. Let me go take a look before we um start Steven He. Yeah, cause I don't think I finished them. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I did not. Oh, guys, I unlock a new patch slot um the 29th. Hog. Wait. I'm kind of curious though. It's been like a long time so <laughs> Huh? Why are we hauling? Doing good? Oh, you're doing laundry? Is it laundry day today? Also, you spelled laundry wrong. 
Oh yeah, I need to manage the founders, hold on. got it nice <laughs> you know what he can keep it that's fine mm -hmm. oh that's not what i wanted to but I do need to eventually do this anyway, so... Uh, we'll... we'll do it from here, this time. Oh, I'm covered! <laughs> oh wait, that's too skinny. Oh, that's better. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Ah! Monitor! Okay, hold on. I don't have um, anything going for the right thing. Okay, there we go. You guys ready? For fear is the mind killer. With respect and readiness for its arrival. Powerful like the sand winds of Arrakis, I must be ready. Who's that weirdo in a trench coat? In the act of discarding what is no longer needed, I am reminded of the desolate deserts of Arrakis. <laughs> you know we can't hear you, right? You have to verbalize your thoughts. I'm sorry, he, he's been this way since we saw that Dune movie. He'll have a burrito. I don't care what's in it. Your manager's gonna be here. I don't care what's in it. Really? No. We just need to tell him it's not our fault, right? Or else our whole team will be fired. Are you, are you even listening? So, I'm sure you know why I called you in today. Um, this quarter's performance did not quite meet projections. Yes, that is true. Due to external factors that were completely out of our control. But we are strongly set up for Q2. Isn't that right? I must not fear. He's been this way ever since he saw that damn movie. For fear is the mind killer. <laughs> Wait, really? Maple. Wow, Maple, you have a five month streak? Oh 
Oh my god. Now I really need to go finish that six month badge so you can have it. <laughs> Wait, when does your sub run out? <laughs> this dance. Uh, it is laundry day. I need pantsu, otherwise I'm wearing pantsu. <laughs> really, you know I do laundry. Make sure to wash everything soon. Later this month. Okay. I will try my best to finish the six month badge. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll try that. Uh, true, what else I have to do? Um, wait a minute, that's not right. Oh wait, it says you have been subscribed for five How long have I been streaming? Oh, right. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. February was six months. This month will be seven. Okay. <laughs> I am like trying to math and failing. So I'm like, how are you already at five months and I've only streamed for like six? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, guys. I, I definitely know stuff. <laughs> Um, I hope the video wasn't too cut off. Right, and there's also gonna be like, um... Wait a minute. I've only been subscribed for five months too? Okay. Ekri, do you need a hug from people? No, I don't. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just having um a massive uh, brain lag. Right, because you and Papa. Oh, and Naja, really? You, Papa, and Naja will be approaching six months. New. <laughs> I, I don't need them right now. That doesn't mean I don't want them. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's, um, Watch the other video. You know, I got the problem that I just didn't know, like, for you. Yeah, I'll definitely um, update the Discord standings for subs. Ow! Ow! Where did you go? You are going on stage in 10. They need you to announce. Oh god. Ooh, this is my close up? No, the Oscars out. Am I over trailer? No, I'm a PA out. God, take one of my trailer. There is no trailer out. Yes, there's none, you know We're going to the Oscars out. Oh my god, no, I don't count my feelings. That is not in your fing mind. No! Where is he? We need him on right now. I'm ready. Oh, um, he did it again with this guy. <laughs> no way. Our ratings just went up by a million people. We are trending number one 
in the United States right now. New York Times just released an article about it. CNN, Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, everyone is talking about you. Even Stephen He made a comedy sketch about you. Oh, f with Stephen He. This much publicity would usually cost us millions, and we just got it for free. It's so perfect. It's almost like it was planned, planned and perfectly executed. Oh my god, I must say so. It's a great honor to see you act in person. You like that take? It was good for you. You raised our ratings more than Will Smith. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just happy to help. You know, I can always tell you to give a great performance. Thank you, sir. Great. Uh, by the way, I recorded some BTS footage for my YouTube channel. Hope you don't mind. You got that? Hey, you were fantastic, by the way. Bloody good. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put this like a jump on my arms or something? What do you think? <laughs> Lie! Ooh. <laughs> Even hate videos are so good. <laughs> they really are. Oh my god, it's about to be three hours. What? <laughs> this time just keep flying by. Oops, wait. Oh god. I have to switch it again. <sighs> well, you know what? Since I was busy watching enough videos, I guess, I guess I'm in the mood to um play some more games. Let me see, what do I have on Steam? I mean, I could go back to my supermarket. Mm. Yeah, I could go back to my supermarket. You guys want to see some supermarket sim? You want to see me fail at running my fucking store? Bro, I'm like broke. <laughs> The Indians, you want it? Two <laughs> mm. store gold. A good question. Sorry, somebody have to, I couldn't speak. <laughs> we got no notes? Not yet. What was my store called? Um, the same as my merch store, Foliage Store. <laughs> it's where leaves can go. Go buy stuff. stop the music from our life because probably not a good idea to have like two things open two steam games open i mean so, do we get discounts or punch cards <laughs> you want discounts Yeah, give me a second. Which this game Huh?
Why is it not showing? Hello? Supermarket time? Okay, there we go. Um. Oh, we wanted to know, do you get discounts of punch cards? No. No, you don't. <laughs> Yeah, have to think of like a currency that you guys use in the forest. <laughs> Maybe like nuts, like acorns, like rocks, but, like colored rocks. Those are like very hard to find. <laughs> oh wait, this is loud. Hold on. <laughs> yes, I'm playing 2000s music again. Jesus, that's freaky. <laughs> Any more? Wait, what is this? Mayo. Mayo flower. flower <laughs> I'm glad you guys are finding solidarity and solidarity in music oh, let's see brown sugar brown sugar cake rice Cake of rice. Uh, I guess we can get some of those. And then shampoo. Uh, my money is going down the drain. Uh, let's see, bleach, vodka, bleach, vodka, pasta. Okay, bleach, uh, vodka. Red. I guess coffee. Oh, I need cheese and butter. Cheese, butter, eggs. <laughs> oh my god, I need so many things. <laughs> Uh, oops. And then I need water. Sorry, hey. <laughs> oh, that was fries. I don't remember this song. <laughs> I forgot what movie it came. It was um in actually. I know it's in a movie. I can't remember which movie. Do we have soup? No. There's no soup. We don't have soup in here. Uh, I guess get some water. Water and sushi. Thank you for the dynamic flute. <laughs> oh, actually, I should do this myself. I don't know how to do this.
nine months. <laughs> I like that they increased the throwing course. <laughs> No soup, no soup, honey. One day we will have some soup for you. Ugh. We can throw boxes, that's fun. Right, guys, I got alcohol. Oh yeah, do you also want to like change the title to one of you? <laughs> you, you can make it as stupid as you want, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> bro doesn't remember the, the command. Don't. <laughs> right, Maple? Like, oh my god. <laughs> How can you call yourself a mod? I know, right? I am the best store manager. <laughs> You know what? That's that's a great title, actually. <laughs> I love it, don't. I guess I can get some more salt and brown sugar. Just work out more brown sugar though. Okay, Maple, change it back. Change it back. I like the one you did, Maple. Yours is lame tones, even though I get the reference. <laughs> Why is somebody taking this? Excuse me. Oh my god, I have to do everything myself. Mm 
Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was closing some stuff. Mm. What stuff you got? Ooh. How much is he paid? You know, that's what I like to see. Spend all your money. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> Like I'm the only girl in the world that you love. No, she's the only girl in the world. Oh, I have to do everything myself. I will make you feel like a man. Yeah. Like I'm the only girl in the world. Like I'm the only one that you love. Who knows your heart? This is gonna be the new thing, Mabel and I going back and forth on titles and commands. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I need tones. So his job is still safe. You, on the other hand, Maple. <laughs> Make you feel the one that you ever love. Make I'm the only one that knows your heart. From the world. From the only one. From the only one. So I would just get needed. Yeah, of course you need it, don't. You do a good job. Oh boy, all shook off. Should have made me feel like I'm the only one that you ever love. I guess I can get some ice cream. I'm out of crab. I had never heard this one before. Next. Oh, not again. No. No. <laughs> You're not going to listen to that again. No. It's the best day ever, but if people goes, I don't know. No. Maple is just a Twitch mod. Just a Twitch mod. Where are all my fries? <laughs> Am I a mozzarella too? I'm mediocre. Oh, there it is. Mm. 
I'm out of bleach. I'm cleaner. Vodka. Cleaner. Purchase of the day. Am I losing this? Potato? Not needed yet. Why bro turn like that? <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Like, I know tomes, but I always rag on you <laughs> and always threaten to take away your mod, but you really do a good job. I'm very happy to have you as my mod. Oh, I'm out of toilet tissue. Well, that's concerning. <laughs> you guys can survive without me. Jones, are you okay over there? Are you having a breakdown? <laughs> Ooh, a hundred. He's so happy. The talent you're always wanted. Huh? Why would you say that? Ooh. Well, that felt good. Uh, let's get a new license. I can get chipotle chips. I get some flour, mashed potatoes, paper. What would that say? Oh, I can get some more rice, more bread, and sugar. You guys think it's worth it getting another license? <laughs> oh my god, it's titanium. I do want to end a little bit. Get some more room. Oh, is everybody checked out? No. Uh, I know if I expand, I'm gonna be broke. Oh, I do want to expand. I'll just open and pray. <laughs> One of my biggest fears people enjoy being around forgetting me or just not wanting me. Honestly, Tones, it's not just you. I'm pretty sure everybody feels that way. Like, I constantly feel that way. Like, every day I wake up in, like, absolute fear. That, like, the people that I love talking to 
would just one day up and block me and I wouldn't even know why because apparently somebody said something or I did something and they didn't like it and didn't feel like it was worth telling me what I did wrong, you know? But like my mom said, you can't live your life being scared of everything. So even though it's hard sometimes for me to just, you know, think it's okay, you know, it'll be okay. It doesn't ever feel like it. And I do constantly still have the fear that one day I'll wake up and everything that I ever done and ever built up is just gone. I agree, you're one of the nicest persons I know. <laughs> thank you, Ninja, thank you. Like, I don't, I don't be nice to, like, get anything out of it other than another person's happiness. Because, like I've said many, many times, we live in a world where there's just so much going on. Just being unnecessarily mean and hateful and spiteful towards people. Like, it just fucking sucks, man. Like, if anything, we should be banding together, trying to lift each other up. I just want to make people smile because no one's really been there to make me smile. So the least I can do to give somebody a smile. It's a convenient store to tell because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're like going to work or coming from work. You never know. <laughs> you, you never know. They're coming or going to work. All right, I can do my expansion. Yes, more space. How do I want to do this? Okay, I think I can. <laughs> can I put the shelf down first? Um. And then, yeah, I think people like that. Okay, so let me see what the next slice is. Okay, chips, that'll be the shelf, flour shelf, mashed potatoes, that might be pepper, sounds like the shelf. No, wait, no, they're things. Was it a cart? I know there's like a cart kind of thing. And then rice shelf, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five things that go on the shelf. Because I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the bread can go up here. Since we're gonna get like flour and sugar. You know what, I can just throw the sugar under here. Might have to get another one though. Anyway. The classic needs some rubbers before heading home, but then they get no use. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, I try not to get too like serious on stream, you know, about things, but 
I don't. I feel like it's best to like. Essentially just be transparent, I suppose. Because it's always been something I've wanted to do. And so. Um, starting VTubing, I always knew I wanted to be transparent with everybody, like to an extent obviously, like I'm not going to sit there and tell you like, oh, like, um, hey, like my mom is like suffering from like, um, some kind of random illness that will kind of like go away in a week. <laughs> if anything, I'd just be like, oh, Taking a week off because I have to care for my mom. Basically, it, you know. But I just feel like being transparent and serious and honest makes me No, my mom really just came in to say happy Pi Day. Um, what was I saying? Um, that doing that stuff, I feel like makes me a little bit more relatable and real. Like, I never intended to be, like, this fake kind of... I'm not saying that, like, people who are VTubers are fake. I mean, like, how am I trying to explain it? Like a fake persona, basically. You know? I, I didn't want to have to, like, have a fake persona. I've always just wanted to be me. Solely me and nothing else. <laughs> no. <laughs> a maple noise. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that honest with your audience yeah basically like if i'm struggling okay i, prob I probably wouldn't really actually say i am because like like i've said many times like with this whole entire situation i've grown up with the mindset that i have to solve everything myself so if i'm struggling on something you will most likely not hear about it Unless I feel like I'm really backed into a corner. But with everything else, I'd probably be like, yeah, you know, this is what's going on. And this is how I feel. And about it. Maple's not even real. <laughs> Just the passing cloud of dust, guys. Please, you guys know that sometimes I talk and don't like fully process what I'm saying until after the fact. You are very much real, people. All of you are real. Oh my god, can they hurry up? Bro, be skidded. Grocery is so slow. Like a gasp. Huh? Huh? Like an huh? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, they're, they're, they're done. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay, that's good. The orange chairs. Yeah. 
here. I just, I just never want to pretend to be something I'm not. Because, mm. like I've said before, it's already tiring being myself. Sit here and pretend to be somebody else, you know. Uh, I just start the day. You know what? Okay, we will. Because I have no money. I mean, I have money, but I want to get the new license. You're in this. You're in this hands on the counter telling people to hurry up. I am. Because they are taking forever. Hurry up. I'm telling you, I could like do check out much faster than these dudes. They're like literally sitting there going like beep beep <laughs> like bro. Speed up. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, notice how I'm saying all this, but like come like IRL trying to do like cashiering, it's like well, you got you gotta be careful so you don't like accidentally swipe it twice. <laughs> They're getting paid by the hour. No, they're getting paid by the day, actually. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're getting paid by the day. Yeah, daily. Come on, shop people shop. I need your money so I can get more products. Yeah, I've been like really into this game. <laughs> like, it's just so weirdly fun. Like, I guess you can say I've always had like a fondness for like management games, I guess. Also, just Lacey, I get that. Right? Cause like, look at them. Look! Bro got a vacant ass stare. He's not even looking at the stuff he's getting! Look at this! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro's not even looking. <laughs> and look at them, they just stand out here. Until they have to like restock, like they can't even wait in the storage area. <laughs> and that's why I've given up on life stairs. Like they they can't even like wait in the storage area. That is so sad. And what song is this? Oh. Ariana. Gotta, 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 gotta love me harder. Leave me. You gotta, 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 gotta. gotta. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At this point, I'm just clapping around. But, but, uh, you know, I think I'm like average at singing, so if I really wanted to sing this, I could. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. (laughs) 
Bro, what? So refreshed. I did not realize I had more than these actually. Why can't I put this down? Huh? Oh. You will to give me. I got a got a got a got a got to love me harder. You really need me. You gotta, 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 gotta love me harder. Hey, me. You gotta, 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 gotta. Oh, you want to tell me like? Okay. You gotta, 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 gotta. Gotta love me harder, guys. Let's hope it's not a dupe. Nine. Ah, oh, perfect. Not a dupe. <clears throat> you lied to me. And that is the line. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I'm stuck. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll wait till after the day is finished, then buy it. <laughs> Probably true. But yeah, that that was um the line, not me saying that personally. <laughs> Why are you mowing in my chat? <laughs> One more time. Wow, my shelves are empty. But damn, they cleared out the beer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to like order a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Why? Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> you little weirdos. <laughs> I would have had my model up today, but ugh, I didn't. I didn't want to feel like going through all the um setup and having like a ring light in my face. <laughs> Right, how much is it I spent? Only 21? Sir, you gotta do more than that. <laughs> oh, what is my serious thing to me? Oh? Yeah, see, that's numbers I like to see. Mm 
245 rookie numbers get it up next time Thirty three higher. Mm -hmm. How much is she going to spend? Thirty seven. You need better numbers. Get out of my store. Let's see. Tablet candy soda. Ooh, nice. Tablet candy. And the cola soda. Which no longer exists here. Great. New product. We got chippo chips. <laughs> chippo chips. Oh god, I am broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to buy like one of everything, but I may not be able to. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I mean, I don't have enough for everything. Uh, rapidly approaching. I might have to leave it there. Oh my god, I have no money. I don't even have any of the new stuff. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys, let's get putting stuff in. Oh. So much stuff. So you see what happens when you buy one of everything? Is a mess. You know, it's just my package is lying in the gr on the ground can get run over mm -hmm. just in timber like A water alcohol. I have no idea. Ugh. I guess all the water is gone. Real kitty cats now. 
I'm more of a dog. True, Maple is a dog. Well, I don't understand why he mouths when she should be barking. No, we're cats and dogs. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I'm not shaming y'all. <laughs> No. I like that they included that now though. That it closes it when you're putting it away. You accidentally open. Oh, is this milk? Guys, what if, like, I had merch that was basically, like, hickory milk? <laughs> you know, kind of, like, I can do, like, um, e-girl bath water. Except, you know, it's not bath water, it's milk. I say the strangest things at night time. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I need a muzzle. <laughs> no, no, not like that. I don't, uh, you know what, never mind. Let me just shut up. Please, please shut up. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is just milk. Is that milk? No. You, you, you guys didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. I said nothing. <laughs> Does it come in? Well, I would be the first to buy. <laughs> Ninja, don't act like you wouldn't be online too. Is it coming chocolate? Why would you ask if it comes in chocolate? Why would you? Why? milk is best milk but we I think you'd have to add the chocolate yourself why am I even discussing this uh... oh yeah maple did you ever get your sticker? I agree, you know, I drink cow milk. I did not know that. <laughs> you expect me to know everything about you, Ninja? No, I don't think it's even shipped yet. I could have swore you said it did ship. <laughs> you don't look at me on the phone, but it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
I will accept that fault. Fine. Fine. It says it needs to get printed first, then like two to seven days. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your stick. Huh. Uh, Alright, then I need to open because I have no money to buy anything. Oh, what did we even get up to? Oh, I'll just start putting stuff in the cart. Okay, guys, but like, Ecri milk will probably not ever become a real thing. Okay. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna end that conversation. No more about Ecri milk. <laughs> Look, sir, <laughs> I need money first before I can buy anything. All right, let's see. How much is he going to spend? What about Maple? Get her hopes up only to be the one to take them away. Okay, but Holmes, <laughs> 61. Eh. Okay, but tones, like, there's no realistic way for it to happen. <laughs> Unless you, like, expect me to, like, partner with, like, some milk company. What about maple milk? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically... Maple syrup and maple milk does exist, I guess. Okay, guys, how about this? If I happen to get like a partnership or something with like gamer subs or whatever, I can be like, make it Ecri milk flavor. <laughs> How about that, huh? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> what was the last thing I put in? Oh, the sugar. Okay, salmon.
Your yeah, Marissa plays titty milk? So what about Jalen? That's what I was saying. Like, if somehow, by some miracle, in some way of the world, I get a partnership with the gamer subs, we can do that, I guess. Jalen milk, dream milk, whatever you want it to be. Kitty Mick flavors actually good. It's true. Jones openly admitting admitting that he drinks gamer subs. You know, I always wonder if it would taste so nice. Oh, it tones. You surprise me every day. I do and have shy lily flavor good and badges flavor good too. I don't have any for what I want to buy. I can take out the green tea. Oh, whoops. And I take out this big. Oh, the veal. I'm sorry for going quiet. I was focusing a little. No, put it down. Ah. Uh, uh, you, you, I didn't make noises. <laughs> I swear I don't make noises, guys. <laughs> Somehow we made it through the day. Ninja, you gotta try gamer stuff. I really don't have any interest in actually eat the meat. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. You don't have to get anything you don't want. Fuck, oh, man, we're running out of deer. Two shots of vodka? <laughs> Oh, 
Mabel, what are you doing? <laughs> Why do I look up and you're making noises in my chat? Fine, I'll hold it all, including the titty milk and the Mabel. tones more and more you're sounding like a degenerate <sighs> oh cleaner okay Okay. Oh, pepper. Oh, it's pepper, pepper. Pepper, pepper. I don't know what that means, guys. I promise. Wait, why am I promising? Huh? My brain fry. My brain thingy. Um. Okay, this is paper. Do you want to put like the pepper with the salt for like? I'll put it up here. This is a new flower. Oh, I could put it down here. I was gonna put the shutter down here. Hmm. I'll just put it down here for now. They, they like to sing. Oh, I see. Well, time to do something crazy. I'll do it. And so we were talking about an energy drink targeted towards gamers and made by gamers supported by VTubers, YouTubers. All the gamer subs and all the drinks have funny names. I'm going to have a couple of the ocean. Don't join Team Mac Focus and I'm going to join. Um, cause I'm gonna put the bread up here. Oh, wait, you guys can do this. Oh, that's the sugar. Weird. And then this is the bread. He's up. Ugh. I do. Who's dead? Oh my god, I don't have space for this. I do. I'm weird. 
bleachers. <laughs> I'm in the bleachers. Wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole time. If I'm the one who understands you. Why can't you see? You belong with me. Um, I was just gonna come down and get mad at you. I have a master bowl here. Gonna be pissed at you. Gonna get up. Gonna catch these things. Oh my god, you guys. What else did she brush it down? Right there. Wear sneakers. I'm on the bleachers. See that I'm the one who understands you. Belong, so I can't just see you belong with me. Oh no, no, I'm selling products that work. I knew something was wrong. Oh god. Oh, no. Five. Okay. Um, yeah. And... Yeah. You belong with me. That's your back door. You belong with me. Hey, if Ash throws hands on you too, I can throw hands on you. It would be to a genetic man made thing versus the oxus. Oh my god, why are you guys discussing this? <laughs> tones, tones, just say you want to and stop trying to make maple. What song is this? Weird. Uh, chocolate. Uh, I have so many packages. Get to work, get to work, get to work. We gotta satisfy these customers.
Oh my god. Y'all and your Pokemon mashing talk. You know, it amazes me some of the stuff that they <laughs> let on the air back in the 2000s. <laughs> Come here. I'm boxing my way. Yeah. Oh, he's playing Hell Divers. I mean. I guess if you can play well no because hell divers is like a completely different kind of ballpark actually never mind hope he has one more oh yeah is anybody interested in playing hell divers not that i will but i do enjoy watching it Oh. Oh. We bought a lot of stuff. What was the last thing I bought? Oh no, I don't remember what I last bought. Oh guys, you remember what I last bought? You know what? Again, if we get dupes, we get dupes. <laughs> oh, dang it, I can't buy anything. <laughs> I know I really interested in Yeah. Like I said, it's understandable. It's not for everybody. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, beer, crab, a ketchup steak. Beer. This. Something. 
Jesus feels so much. Give me this. <laughs> this here no that is specifically for toilet tissue oh my god what time is it it's almost 12. thank god i don't have to do the class tomorrow right if i had class tomorrow i would be able to stream what am I saying? Uh, I think I'm slowly losing my mind. He's so cute as a pet. Yeah. Excuse me. Let's be out in the corner. What did you say? You didn't hear what I said? Oh, well I can't help you there, because I don't remember what I said. <laughs> when you come to an Ekri stream, you gotta hear it when I say it, because most likely I will not remember what I said. Mocha poca face, papa poca face. <laughs> Poker face? Into a poker face you want? I hardly know her. Okay, my phone. Maple thinks she's so funny.
My god, her joke was such a knee slapper. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh, Maple. Your precious gem. I like Lady Gaga. I feel she inspired me to be me unapologetically. Mm -hmm. Isn't it on top? Weird. Oh my god. 
Who's causing me an arm and a leg? Okay, not a vocal, but uh. oh, what did I just say? <laughs> okay, if not a poke, what about a boop? Okay, there we go. <laughs> this was the first time I said it, that did not sound like it. Why those have no labels? Oh, what are you talking about? What is man's talking about? Sorry guys, I was just playing and vibing. I forgot I was streaming. I don't usually stream this late, so that's why. But yeah, I'll probably end stream after today. Uh, I guess I'm gonna need like a third checkout. Uh, I don't want to do checkout again. That was miserable. Mm -hmm. Five hundred insanity. And bro, a two dollar shipping fee. Insanity. Mm. Huh. Is that a card? Blah. I should just overcharge you for wasting my time. Uh, next. Hmm. Thirty-four. Damn girl. Oh. I swear, guys. I know how to math. I just misclicked. <laughs> Next. Damn, bro. What the hell are you cooking at home? That's it? And he's paying. I don't know how fucking cashiers feel when people only come in for one thing and use their card to pay. Jesus. Get out. 